Hello, staff will be presenting Environmental Resources Solid Waste Rates Update Report. Staff's recommendation is for the Public Works and Transportation Committee recommend that the to receive and file the solid waste rates update report. Background. At the December 5th, 2023 City Council meeting, four solid waste rate scenarios were prepared for discussion and feedback. Staff and the city's solid waste rate consultant, Reftelis Inc., discussed the scenarios and the following topics were discussed. Rate setting process, legal requirements, financial planning, solid waste cost of service, and rate design. The City Council provided their feedback and recommended Scenario 3 out of the four scenarios. Scenario 3 includes rate adjustments and full capital expenditures, which fully funds the projected revenue requirements with greater near-term rate adjustments but lower overall increases over the five-year rate adjustment period compared to scenario four. Scenario three also projects all funding requirements, including operating capital and proposed capital lease and debt payments. On item one, some of the key assumptions for scenario three are subset with I, fiscal year 2023-2024 served as the baseline for the rate study period as adjusted for actual operating results and known cost increases. The operating expense growth is estimated at 4.2% per year. Subset two, assume some additional collection routes to maintain regulatory compliance with Assembly Bill 1826, Assembly Bill 827, Senate Bill 1383, and regular service demands. Item three, assumes infrastructure use fee repayments from the city to environmental resources, which will end in fiscal year 2024. Subset four, assumes resumption of infrastructure use fee payments in fiscal year 2025 to the city. Continuing on with the key assumptions of scenario three, subset five, $40.7 million reinvestment into the material recycling facility, including new equipment and a roof in fiscal year 2026 through fiscal year 2028. Subset six, replacement of vehicles at the end of life in fiscal year 2024 and 2025. Subset seven, uh, scenario three provides compliance with California Air Resources Board zero emissions vehicle requirements, primarily relies on use of capital leases and debt to fully fund the capital expenditures. Uh, subset eight, uh, scenario three represents necessary rate adjustments to fund a fiscally sustainable operation and maintain regulatory compliance. And uh, for scenario three, staff was given direction to proceed with the creating and sending the required Proposition 218 public notices to all solid waste customers and property owners. Um, direction was also given that uh, staff target a rate setting public hearing and the introduction of a new ordinance containing the proposed solid waste rates at the city council meeting scheduled for March 19, 2024. Direction was also given to plan on adopting the ordinance at the city council meeting on April 16, 2024. So the final cost of service study is complaint and it is available for the public to view online at www.oxnard.org forward slash refuse rates. The table below represents a comparison of the preliminary estimated residential rates. This would be for three 96 gallon cart service presented to council on December 5, 2023 and the final rates included in the Prop 218 notice. 
So presented to the council on December 5th, 2023 was a monthly rate for three cart 96 gallon refuse service. Um, and then below that you have what was issued on the Prop 218 notice for the same monthly rate of a three cart service, 96 gallon refuse cart. And then the very bottom, you see a difference, which shows the difference of what was presented to staff on December 5th, 2023 for the five fiscal years, fiscal year 24, 25 through fiscal year 28, 29. And then what was mailed on the Prop 218 notice to see the work that has been done since that December 5th council meeting. And then it shows the difference of what change had occurred from the December 5th, 2023 meeting to what has been given in the Prop 218 notice. You'll see that the change for fiscal year 24-25 was $1.24. The change from fiscal year 25-26 was $2.25. And the change in fiscal year 27-28 was $1.23 with no change to fiscal year 28 This study provides three primary objectives. Number one, develop a financial plan for the Environmental Resources Fund to ensure financial sufficiency, meet operations, and maintain costs, provide funding for capital replacement and renewal needs, and improve the financial health of the Enterprise Fund. Number two, review the current rate structure for the Environmental Resources Fund and propose recommended changes based on the cost of service study. And number three, perform a cost allocation and prepare a recommended five-year schedule of rates and fees for the Environmental Resources Fund. Schedule. The city's resolution number 14877 outlines the procedures for establishing and increasing fees and charges under Proposition 218. Proposition 218 notices were mailed to the required recipients pursuant to the timeline required by the state. Upcoming rate setting public hearing and introduction of the proposed solid waste rate ordinance is scheduled for March 19, 2024. So we have some outreach that will be ongoing. Um, uh, in addition to the December 5th, 2023, the city council meeting, there are three community meetings uh, that were held on the following dates. Uh, the first was on November 15th of 2023 at the South Oxnard Library. The second outreach meeting was held on December 13th of 2023 in the city council chambers. And the third outreach meeting was held on January 30th, 2024 in the city council chambers. Uh, some upcoming outreach meetings are scheduled for February 29th, 2024. This is an in-person town hall style meeting at the South Oxnard Library. And also on March 6, 2024, uh, the Inter-Neighborhood Council Organization meeting held at the city council chambers. Financial impact. There is no financial impact from receiving this solid waste rates update report. Staff is available to answer any questions. Thank you.